Hello, welcome to the Autobiography of a Yogi book review. This book was, was really good, it was kind of slow. It's a book about uh, a yogi and it's an autobiography of his life, right? From birth pretty much until he, he was like 50. And his name is Para, the names in this book I had trouble pronouncing. There's a lot of things I had trouble pronouncing in this book. It's a lot of Indian, um, dialogue, but I mean, it's translated. It's, uh, his name is Para, Parahansa Yogananda. That's, you might be wrong. Um, I've heard it a lot of times, but for some reason I can't get it right. But it's about him and his life. And there is, this is like one of the most spiritual books I've read. It's, the, my favorite chapter was, I think it was like 41 and 42, when it goes in depth and in detail about the astral um, realm, which have, which we're, where we go and we uh, pass on from this life. We go to the astral, the astral realm. And it had like extreme detail of it, of like the foods you eat and like there's like events and I don't know, it's like, like you can travel anywhere you want. You can be anyone you want to be, do whatever you want to do. Um, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty eye-opening and it's in such great detail that you can't be like, come on, like who, who really like took the time to make this up, you know? It's amazing. And it got a lot of spiritual insights, a lot of spiritual insights. Um, it's, like I said, pretty slow at first. It picks up, it's like 400 pages. And it's a great read, it's, it's, it's great to, I don't know a lot about other people's culture and stuff, so I learned a lot about the Indian culture and a lot of words that they use and stuff like that. And it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing, and it's different. It's a different taste of life, you know. We get, we get stuck in our day-to-day -day cycles, and this brought me out of it a little bit and got me into the Indian culture a little bit, and I thought it was pretty cool, pretty interesting. It got talking a lot about Kriya Yoga. It didn't go in depth because. It was saying you need a Kriya master to master Kriya Yoga. Um, I have another book about Kriya Yoga. I'm gonna read that eventually. But this book got me into yoga and yoga is absolutely amazing. It increases your state of being tremendously. If you haven't tried yoga, it is amazing. It's hard at first. Like I couldn't I couldn't even sit down and crisscross applesauce in that first posture, you know, like the cross-legged posture. I couldn't even do that because my hips were so tight. My lower back was so tight, but it's getting a lot easier. I'm on like day like 23 of doing yoga. I love it. I will never go back. I'm gonna do it every day. I, I can't imagine where, you know, like how my body, I fall asleep so much easier because I'm so relaxed. My body isn't so tight and stressful. Like you release a lot of stress. You just feel amazing. And I do that in the morning. It makes my day absolutely amazing. But this book was really, really good. Out of all, I'd give it like eight out of 10. Um, the reason you're probably seeing this is because you are attracting it into your life or you're just curious about the book. Read it. There's a link below to Amazon. I recommend reading it and just, you know, getting a taste of who this guy is and what he has, you know, the stories he has to tell because they're pretty amazing. And they're they're like, a lot of these things are like, is this real? Like it sounds so crazy to be real, but to the grave, he's he witnessed this stuff and it's there's more to life than meets the eye, guys. There's more way more to life. We're so limited in what we think we can do, but we haven't even cracked the sir. We haven't really like, we haven't even started figuring out what we can actually do because there's no limits. And this book proves that there's no limits. So I hope you guys give it a read. Let me know in the comment section if you've read it, if you what you think about it. And if you haven't read it, definitely check it out. Thank you guys for watching.